Shalom of Racha. Parashas Emar includes the instruction to count the Omer, to count 50 days from the morrow of Pesach through to the festival of Shavuos. And the words of the Chinuch are very famous. The Chinuch explains that the idea of this count is to count down or to count up to the great day of Shavuos, which is the day on which we received the Torah. So in anticipation, in expectation of this wonderful day, we count the days one by one to demonstrate our love, our longing. But also famous is the difficulty with the explanation of the Chinuch, because this count isn't really a count towards a known day of the calendar. The count is constitutional. It constitutes the day of Shavuos. Without the count, there is no Shavuos. The whole concept of the festival of Shavuos is 50 days after the morrow of Pesach. After Passover, we start counting, and then we create the festival of Shavuos with our own count. And how are we to understand this concept? What's the idea of counting to create the festival itself? So perhaps we can understand something deeper about this count by reference to the Ramban. The Ramban explains that the days of Sfira Sa'omer are like Cholamoyed, like the interval time in the middle of a festival. Just like on Sukkot or on Pesach, we have a Cholamoyed in the middle, so the entire time of Sfira Sa'omer is like festival days that build up to the last festival, the last festival day that caps, that concludes the entire festival time. The Ramban thus teaches us that the entire time of Sfira Sa'omer is a bridge between Pesach and Shavuos, which completes the Pesach festival. And that's why, says the Ramban, it's called Atzeret, in the words of the sages. The sages call Shavuos Atzeret, because Atzeret means the end. This is where it stops. So we learn from here that Pesach, the festival of our national coming to being, we came into existence as a nation on Pesach, that's completed. That coming into national existence is completed on Shavuos. And in order to get there, to get to Shavuos, we have to go through the count that we ourselves count one day after another. Meaning to say, even though we came into existence on Pesach, and that's like a birthday, we were born out of Mitzrayim, but in order to get to the end of this process, we have to invest our own energies. We have to invest our own attention at growth, at development, at maturity, and that we do by means of counting, day by day, growth by growth, one step at a time, until we're mature enough, ready enough, to accept upon ourselves the yoke of Torah, the responsibility of managing the relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu on our side, by receiving the Torah and by realizing it. And in order to get there, we need to invest. It depends on us, on our count of the Omer. And perhaps today, we can translate this idea of counting the Omer, which we always understand on a personal level. It's our growth, working on our character, working on ourselves. But today, maybe we can translate this into a national translation, a national realization of this idea. Because in the very middle of Sfirah Sa'omer, we also have the day of Hei Be'iyar, which is Yom Ma'ut, the Israel Day of Independence. Just like we received our national existence, our national being on Pesach, so we also received, we were Zoycha, we merited to establish a national framework of the state of Israel also in the middle of the Sfiras HaOmer time. And just like after Pesach, we have to start working, start working at reaching the maturity of managing the connection with the Kodesh Baruch Hu, so also with the State of Israel. We received it by means of a lot of work of many people, a lot of investment, blood, sweat and tears, but also by miracle. Never before has there been such an event, an in-gathering from a hundred countries around the world to a national homeland. It's impossible 
to even imagine were it not to have happened to us and therefore something miraculous, a shmeichel, a smile from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But now we need to work. We need to invest. We need to start counting step by step of spiritual development, of infusing the mechanisms, the institutions of the State of Israel with content that derives from the Torah, with content that connects us on a national level to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in every way, in every corner, in every side of our national framework of the State of Israel. And I think not by chance do these ideas come together in Sfira Sa'omer, in the build-up to Shavuos, in the build-up to the day when we receive the Torah. And this count is constitutive. It creates Shavuos. Because only when we bring ourselves, only when we work on ourselves, on a personal level, but in this context specifically on a national level, we invest this energy to bring in the relationship with the Kodesh Baruch Hu, with God, to every corner of our national framework, our national existence, then we can reach Shavuos, the end of our national creation coming to being, and in this context, to reach the final redemption, the final stroke of our national redemption, just like it was at Pesach, and reach the Geula Shlema. We should get there. Bimheira, Amen.